Hello Power Users, Zbigniew Fukowski here and if you are watching this you probably have the the error which is multiple levels of many to one relationship expansion aren't supported which is a common mistake in the Power Apps I will show you how to overcome this error easily and I will also show you if you have a problems with um, drop your drop downs and you have the records visible in your drop downs uh, but you don't have any display information about those records so i will show you those two solutions and let's start okay so first of all i'm in my app and i have a gallery in with my board games and my board games is a table of course from the dataverse this table mm, contains a relationship with the, the table types. This is also a table. And the type can have, let me show you, can have different type. We have three types possible, board game, board game plus app and card game. So I want to display some information about those types. And I want to display if someone was creator of the type, for any reason, don't overthink it. I want to display his uh, full name. So based on each board game, which is there. Cool? Cool. So first of all, I've created board games and used the function uh, aliases, us, uh, which will transform this for uh, to uh, BG in order to avoid this item in my functions. It will be important later. So for for this column, I wanted to create for each record. I want to check this record type. In this record type, I want to check created by, which holds the user information. This is whole record. The created by is a record. And I want to retrieve full name of the creator, not of the board game, because this is possible, but of the type, which is another, another level of of going down. So Power Apps is uh, prohibiting this uh, behavior because of probably per performance issues. So three levels of going down uh, to retrieve information will either produce an error like this, multiple levels, or will just not produce any kind of value, which I, which I will have in my dropdown as well. So. I want uh, in here I'm just checking the the type of the type which is the the name and I want to create this to have a, a working value so what I need to do with this first of all I need to use the lookup function to look up my types for to search for this full name of the user who created a type so I will go with the types. Up. I will try to find this record based on the record I have in my current board games record. So the type should be equal to to bg dot. type and you will see the error here because I have incompatible uh, comparison type because this is the text which will be the the text the board game the card game etc and this is the record so I will need to also use the type which will be the text now so I'm looking for, for uh, if the type is uh, exactly the same I will look up for this value you can also look by the GUID and if we go back and we go to the types we can see that columns let's go to the columns and let's get the unique identifier it's new table so it's it's kind of kind of creepy right now because I first saved it then changed the, the uh, the name of the columns we are that's why we are uh, searching for the type but usually you should use GUID for for the lookup to create a, 
a best experience possible. So in there, I want to find the column which is created by. This is a standard column. Mm. Hop, hop, created by. This is a standard column which all of the tables in the Dataverse currently possess because each record was created by someone. So I, that's why I'm using this one to ensure that all the records got it. Okay, and I have the lookup and then I can get the full name. Yep. Okay, so this is working. I will leave you with that this also alternatively you can use a show columns as a gallery source in order to create new column which will with the same type of lookuping will get you to to display um, the column you want next we have the drop down which is board games created by full name so i want to look up for the full name of creator in my items of the dropdown which produce nothing <laughs> and as you can see uh, the dots I get nothing here because this will be a source which will uh, not produce any results which is complex this means that if I have the boards games created by it will not work but if i will for example board game name it will actually display about the but after the dot i have no intelligence and if i me try to use created by complex table you can see that I have records here. Those records aren't there. There is no possibility to reference those records. So after the dot uh, and trying to reference something which I know that is there, I've got nothing. So what's the solution? Okay, so let, uh, let's create alternative option. I will use add columns. And as a source, I will use the board games. just like in the first example dot created by and i will use the alias because i will need to reference it later you will see where and what else do i need i will need a column name which i will use the which i will use the you know, the, the uh, creator like uh, always my imagination is not working correctly and now we will need the expression to the add columns i will use the lookup function which will be lookuping the users because the created by is is the relationship between the board games and the user created it so uh, then i will need in the users I will need the condition so user should be equal to x now i'm referencing this this table uh, and i will use the created by now you will see the error because we have incompatible types because created by is a record and this is a guid so our uh, GUID is a unique identifier which all records has. So, so when I'm using and creating a lookup like this, now I'm comparing GUID with GUID, which will work. And then I can reference my table, which will uh, create a full, full name. This is my new column. And as you can see, the creator is visible. I did not use distinct because I had no reason actually, but you can use the distinct to to lower these numbers to one because in my case, Zbigniew Vulkowski was creator of all the board games.
and you don't want to have duplicates. So as you can see, your dropdown is now working and you already knew that it wasn't working correctly earlier. So earlier it was producing the record like this, but you cannot reference this with the, the reference which should be there, which is full name and it produced an error. Yeah, that was it. Hope this was informative for you. Hope I've resolved a lot of issues you had with your power apps. If yes, you know the drill. You have sub, like button. You can promote my content or you can like all the other videos. I have about 100 other videos about power apps, power platform, power automate. You're free to use. I will also link in the comment a link to my playlist with all the videos. So, cheers. Wigniew Fukowski out.